So now we'll be embarking on our unit on magnetism. The obvious first question to ask in this unit is what exactly is magnetism? Magnetism is a force, it can be attractive or repulsive, that acts at a distance. It occurs between moving charges. You're probably very familiar with the concept of a magnet. A magnet might look like something like this. You know, it has a north pole and a south pole. These poles are somewhat analogous to the positive and negative electric charges. However, with electric charge, you can have an independent positive charge or an independent negative charge. This isn't the case with magnetism. In magnetism, you always have a north pole and a south pole together. This means that there are no magnetic monopoles. I'll be drawing a lot of parallels between magnetism and electrostatics. Both magnetism and electrostatics describe forces of attraction that act at a distance. So both electrostatics and magnetism are described in terms of fields. Here we have the magnetic field, which we'll talk more about in later lectures. Magnetic field. And of course, in electrostatics, we have the electric field. We'll be drawing parallels between these two in later lectures. Both of these fields result in a force. In magnetism, there's the magnetic force, and electrostatics, naturally, the electric force, the Coulomb attraction or repulsion. In both cases, this force may be attractive or repulsive. There are some key differences, however, as we talked about in the last slide. Magnetism, you only have uh, dipoles, so all magnets or magnetic fields have north and south characteristics, which are similar to the positive and negative charges we talked about in electrostatics. In electrostatics, however, you can have monopoles. You can have an isolated positive or negative charge. This is very different from magnetism. The final key difference between electrostatics and magnetism is its origin. Electrostatics, as the name implies, is the study of the interactions between stationary positive and negative charges. Magnetism, however, is generated by moving positive and negative charges. We'll talk about this in depth in later lectures, but in general, magnetic fields are generated by spinning or otherwise moving positive and negative charges. This, of course, is just a very brief overview of magnetism in general. In the next lecture, we'll be talking about what a magnetic field is and a little bit more about what a field in general means.